Today, I want to talk about one thing. If you want to be successful, it's never too late to set about doing it. But to achieve something big, the sooner you start, the better. Why do I want to talk about it today? Lately, while reading a magazine, I happen to see calligraphy work by my former colleague who is 10 years older than me. Besides, his landscape painting was also published. Why was he interested in this since he majored in science and engineering? I called him to express my congratulations. I asked him when he started to learn painting and calligraphy, as he didn't show talent in art before. Well, he said, you didn't know. I used to have a regret that my handwriting was not good enough. I have always wanted to improve it, but failed. It occurs to me every time that I write. Since I couldn't write well when I was young, how could I do it when I get old? The die is cast, so I couldn't make up my mind to improve it. When I retired, I had nothing to do, so I wanted to get myself engaged in something. I guess practicing calligraphy is a good choice, both physically and mentally. If you stay still for a long time, your limbs would get less agile, so would your brain. But I want to live longer, so what should I do? After thorough consideration, I want to make up for my long-lasting regret. So I started to practice calligraphy. Unconsciously, 10 years has passed. He is now doing pretty well in calligraphy. He couldn't paint before either. Now, his paintings are amazing too. And his works are published. So I called him and expressed my congratulations. I said, that's really impressive. Then he said, when he was young, those excuses didn't hold water at all. He thought it would be too late to practice calligraphy when one is 20 or 30 years old. At the age of 20, he even thought his limbs were not as agile as before. That's not true. He is in his 70s now, and he thinks his calligraphy works can be bettered. But objectively speaking, his calligraphy works are not as good as expected. He said, People think I did well because they are not experts in this area. I start to think about it when I was practicing. My works can only fool those laymen. Being judged in usual work or life situations, they are good enough and acceptable. If measured by a calligrapher, they are far from perfect. Therefore, after a decade of practicing calligraphy and painting, one idea came to me in a flash of inspiration. That is, if I started to practice when I was a child, I would have become excelled in it, or even a calligrapher. But this is not gonna happen now. So he said, if you want to be successful, you can start at any time, and it will never be too late. But you should start as early as possible if you want to achieve something big. Coincidentally, I have a friend who is a female professor, she is retired. What does she take up? She sings. She sings so well now. I asked her why she learned to sing. Well, she said, I have always wanted to learn how to sing since young, but I was too busy to do it. Now that I am retired and I want to participate in something which is not about starting a career, but a hobby or an interest, so I signed up for a singing class. As time goes by, I start to appreciate my singing myself because it is quite interesting. Besides, she said, if you want to make a difference, it's never too late to begin. But you should begin sooner rather than later if you want to achieve greatness.